former President Donald Trump was disqualified from the Colorado Republican primary for 2024 on Tuesday by the Colorado Supreme Court, which found that his participation in January 6th violated the 14th Amendment's insurrectionist clause. The Democratic-appointed judges of Colorado's top court decided 4-3 that the former president and presidential candidate for 2024 is ineligible for office. The 14th Amendment, which was ratified following the Civil War, prohibits public servants who have engaged in insurrection from running for office again. According to Section 3 of the 14th Amendment, a majority of the court holds that Trump is disqualified from holding the office of president, the court stated. The insurrection clause of the Constitution has never before been utilized to disqualify a presidential candidate. Trump campaign spokesperson Stephen Chung confirmed Tuesday night that the former president would appeal the ruling to the Supreme Court, suggesting that the ruling might not stand. We are fully confident that the U.S. Supreme Court will make a swift decision in our favor, ultimately ending these lawsuits that are un-American, Chung stated. Ronna Romney McDaniel, chair of the Republican National Committee, referred to the ruling as election interference and said the RNC would challenge it in court as well. Looking forward to helping fight for a victory, she added, of the RNC's legal staff. The Colorado Supreme Court's ruling follows a district court's ruling that despite Trump's incitement of an uprising, the Capitol attack on January 6, 2021, it was unclear from the language of the Constitution whether or not it was meant to exclude presidential candidates. The case was brought by Citizens for Responsibility and Ethics in Washington, D.C., on behalf of six Colorado voters, some of whom were independent and some of whom were Republicans. The lawsuit focused on Trump's attempts to rig the 2020 presidential election, as well as his involvement in the Capitol attack on January 6th. According to the 14th Amendment, the court determined that Trump had committed an insurrection by clear and convincing evidence. The section was deemed by the court to be self-executing, which meant that no additional action from Congress was necessary. It concluded that the district court's conclusion that January 6th constituted an insurrection was correct. In doing so, it cited Trump's speech from January 6th, during which he exhorted an ellipse crowd to fight like hell, concluding that the statement was not First Amendment protected speech. Together, these elements indicate that President Trump is ineligible to hold the office of President under Section 3. As a result, the Secretary's listing of him as a candidate on the presidential primary ballot would be unlawful under the election code, the court decided. In order to give time, it acknowledged the appeal and postponed the ruling until January 4th. The disclaimer, we do not reach these conclusions lightly, was also given. We recognize the importance and gravity of the questions that are currently in front of us. We are also conscious of our grave responsibility to uphold the law, free from fear or favor and unaffected by the opinions of the general public regarding the choices that the law requires us to make. Democratic governors nominated all of the judges who supported the decision. This was brought up by Chung and other Republicans, and a representative for the Trump campaign called the lawsuit, filed by Crew, a scheme by a left-wing group funded by Soros to rig an election on behalf of crooked Joe Biden. The Democratic Party officials are experiencing extreme paranoia due to President Trump's increasing and commanding advantage in the polls. They are now making every effort to prevent American voters from toppling them in November of next year because they have lost faith in the disastrous Biden administration, according to Chung. Eric Trump added insult to injury by pointing out that Trump's approval ratings have increased despite the fact that he is being investigated for four crimes. Forecast. The Colorado ruling 
will add five or more points to the already lopsided polls of at real Donald Trump, he said on X. In a show of protest, Republican presidential candidate Vivek Ramaswamy offered to have his name removed from Colorado's Republican primary ballot on March 5th. I promise to asterisk withdraw asterisk from the Colorado GOP primary unless Trump is granted the right to appear on the state's ballot. I also demand that Ron DeSantis, Chris Christie and Nikki Haley immediately follow suit. Failing to do so will be seen as their tacit endorsement of this illegal action which will have dire consequences for our nation, he wrote on X on Tuesday night. The plaintiffs and the president of Crew applauded Tuesday's ruling. What our clients claimed in this lawsuit, that Donald Trump is an insurrectionist who disqualified himself from office under Section 3 of the 14th Amendment due to his involvement in the attack on the Capitol on January 6th, is validated by the court's decision today. Secretary Griswold is required to prevent Trump from appearing on Colorado's primary ballot. In a statement, Crew President Noah Bookbinder stated, It is not only historic and justified, but it is also necessary to protect the future of democracy in our country. Our Constitution makes it quite clear that people who betray our democracy in order to break their oath of office are ineligible to hold public office. Bookbinder continued, It has been an honor to represent the petitioners, and we look forward to making sure that this critically important ruling stands. Norma Anderson, a former Republican leader of the Colorado House and Senate, was one of the plaintiffs. My fellow plaintiffs and I filed this lawsuit to guarantee that Colorado Republican primary voters are only supporting qualified candidates and to uphold the right to free and fair elections as guaranteed by our Constitution. In a statement, she stated, Today's victory does just that. I had read Section 3 of the 14th Amendment long before this lawsuit was filed, and I believed that it pertained to Donald Trump because of the things he had done before and on January 6th. She continued, I am pleased that the Colorado Supreme Court reached the same decision that we did and I am proud to be a petitioner.